There seems to be a, a huge discrepancy between the estimates of uh, what seals consume by Norwegian scientists versus our own our Canadian scientists. It's basically, they, the Norwegians are estimating that seals consume double what our scientists are are estimating. What's your thoughts on that? So. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for the for the question. There is, a, a, yeah, there there is a several uncertainty overall in terms of estimating the consumption of uh, of uh, prey by by seal. Uh, this is one of many uh, uncertainty associated the, the the difference in season, uh, time of sampling, the 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 specific uh, age and and relationship. Uh, I think where we concur uh, with the the Norwegian in terms of the the overall scope, like. The seals uh, are uh, one of the key predators in the marine ecosystem, along with other uh, ground fish, uh, cetacean, uh, seabirds. Uh, fundamental. Thank you, Mr. Vignol. My pleasure. Um, how much fish in total tonnage is consumed by the 10 million seals in all of all combined uh, species in Atlantic Canada? What's the tonnage so annually? So thank you, Mr. Chair, for the question. I don't have a, an exact number for the tonnage, but it's in the it's a large number. It's in the order of uh, tens of thousands. I don't know of, the number, uh, but it's large. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Vigneault. We, we could take that in writing if you don't mind. That's once you get that that information. That's your job. Uh, looking back at the Senate committee, uh, you gave te uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Vigneault gave uh, testimony that. Priority seal populations are surveyed every five years. Uh, so, Mr. My question again is to Mr. Venio: What's the current population of hooded seals? So we thank you, Mr. Chair, for the question. The hooded seal is one of the species that we haven't been able to assess regularly. We have an estimate that's uh, from. Uh, uh, if I recall, more than, than five years, we currently are allocating resources to uh, uh, do the survey, uh, including doing research work on using our recent uh, ARP seal survey as a source of data for audit so, seals. Okay, uh, so it's been quite so a they, while he, by he, he the information know. I've got here. Do you think it's paying justice to, to, uh, to conservation? to not have had a survey of hooded seals, which are basically twice the size of harps, eat twice as much since 2006. Is that responsible practice, uh, Mr. Vigneault? Thank you for the share. Yeah, no, I, I agree it's a significant gap in our knowledge. We're working towards that. Uh, to put things in context, the, uh, there's very uh, little uh, harvesting of the, of the hooded seal, and our estimate of the population are smaller than the, the major population of harp seal. But I agree with the, the member that's work that uh, is ongoing to address that gap. So, uh, Mr. Chair, again to Mr. Vigneault, um, what's the current population of bearded seals? He's not going to know that one either. So thank you for the question. The bearded seal uh, is one of the population uh, that were, for which there's no uh, commercial harvest in the Atlantic. So we don't have a full estimate of no the... No idea. This guy doesn't know any of that. Uh, what do, what do you think the though. impacts of bearded seals are on the recovery of the, the crab stocks off, off the Labrador, Labrador coast, considering they, they eat mostly shellfish known to be big consumers of crab. Do you think it would be important to know how many of these bearded seals are out there? So thank you for the question. Uh, again, that's a gap that we will address through years. In terms of uh, the impact of the health of the stock of the crab of the Labrador coast, the stock is healthy in that area. And uh, again, uh, the uh, bird seal would be one of other predators in the marine ecosystem that we would li li have to look uh, when we compare the predation Thank you, uh, thank you, sir. That's wonderful. Thank you for your response. Uh, to I've got here An Andrew Thompson. Um, the euthanizing of nuisance seals was banned by the current government in 2020 because of fear of sanctions from non-compliance uh, um, non with the Marine Mammal Protection Act in the USA. Why is this the case when Norway removes nuisance seals with no fear of similar sanctions? 
I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Is that a question to, to myself? I, Maybe you Mr. Thompson. Them. Why can't you just eat them or do something with the meat? I would respectfully suggest it might be a better question for the uh, fisheries manager, represent, Representative Jennifer Butte. I guess there's no market for seal meat. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, for the question. I think that, like uh, you know, in terms of Norway versus Canada and our approach to nu nuisance seals, the MMPA certainly is a driver on why we had determined that we could no longer support um, the reduction of nuisance seals. I think there's concern about impacts to very important species that are exported to the U.S., such as lobster and crab. So I think that's uh, a policy decision that we took uh, as, a, as a department in terms of uh, nuisance seals.